Good morning, everyone. I am coming at you with very, very minimal sleep, okay? And I know that that is the world's most small violin playing just for me, but I don't know what it was. I woke up this morning at half three and I could not get back to sleep. All I was thinking about was my Christmas like intro that I've done for the past sort of like four or five years. And I was just like having all of these ideas and thoughts and panics and what have you, because obviously it's one of those things where Ali and I just started doing it on a whim and it became a bit of a thing. And now I try, I have to try really hard not to let like the pressure get to me in order to make something different. What these intro intros are supposed to be are like almost kind of trailers for the last year of my life and the things that sort of made me happy and brought me joy and set me up for the festive season, that kind of thing. So I think that it's such a difficult one, whereas I'm like, I wanna do all of these elaborate things and I wanna shoot it at this house and shoot it here. I always have to remember that it's so important that everything centers around the home, the family, and spending time together and all of the things that we love, like all of the pets, etc., etc. So my brain starts going wild. And so Ali and I on the dog walk this morning um, basically started planning. And I don't know, we might start fil like film the first sort of scene this evening because it can be shot at night. So um, I'm, we're going to see how that goes. I've just had this like different idea from previous years and how I want it to start. Um, sometimes it works. And actually we've been really lucky, we're touch wood, really lucky that all of them have always been really enjoyable to film and we try and like, you know, enjoy the process of bringing these things to life because I know that you guys enjoy them so much. So that's what we're gonna try and do. Um, but yeah, so I woke up and I could not get back to sleep. So by the time it was like my alarm going off for my PT session, I just got up and um, did a very half, half sort of effort PT session, which wasn't great, and then had a dog walk. But I've had the loveliest weekend where we spent Friday with my friend Alex and her husband at their new house. And it was so amazing to just see how far they've come and like their new, much bigger home and family home and them settled in and it's just so beautiful. If you don't know, my friend Alex, um, her parents' house is one of the houses that's like sort of like inspired me so much over the years. And I know that Alex shares her sort of mum's taste. So seeing her house come to life is just really beautiful as well. Um, then I finished off doing Christmas bits and pieces on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we went to have a Sunday roast with like someone that I've been like, friends with on the internet for a while, but hadn't actually met in person. It all started when we were at the NTAs and we sort of missed each other um, on the red carpet. And, and ever since then we've said, we must get a date in and go and have a um, Sunday roast together. So I went all the way down to Essex to see Stacey and um, we had the most wonderful roast dinner cooked by her partner, Joe. A little poodle around the garden. I met her children and just like a good chat. Do you know what I mean? Like just a good chat. And it was really, really lovely. So I had pretty much the most wholesome weekend ever. This week is a bit intense in terms of like back to back bits and pieces here, there and everywhere. Nothing too strenuous, but all really lovely, like festive things. And I'm going to be getting my hair done tomorrow and I'm doing it in a way that I've never done it before. Now you might be looking thinking, gosh, can you believe how like much my hair has grown? If you think about it now, it's here. Like obviously I do all the flicky bits, but it's uh, all the way down here. And when I had my extensions taken out, my hair was here and that was in July. So my hair has grown masses in what, so it's the end of July, August, September, October, November, so like less than four months. That's how much my hair has grown. I'm gonna pop in a picture and like a dated picture. But I honestly, when I took those extensions out, I felt so like, my hair felt so short and it took some getting used to. It only took me a day or two, but it took some getting used to. And so now this is all my own hair, but it is due for a trim. So I'm doing something a bit different because I have absolutely loved 
my diamond cut from Michael Van Clark. So I've booked in and I'm going to be having my hair cut first. And I'm just going as a normal customer um, and I'm gonna be having it cut with Michael Van Clark as well because he did my hair so beautifully that I want to ensure that I'm doing that every single time so that as my hair grows, like it's kept its shape, um, there's a lot of like dimension to it and I just really, really liked it. So I'm going to him first for the diamond cut, which is where he like cuts it um, dry and then washes and styles it. And then I'm gonna have to ask him what the best thing to do is because I'm then going to have my color done. And um, I'm gonna be having my color done at uh, Michael John with Immy because look at those roots. Like what on earth? I can't actually, if that doesn't show you how much my hair has grown in the last four months, I don't know what will because this little bit at the front almost disguises it, but that is a huge amount of growth and my hair is just at such a good place. And do you know what I've realized? I've realized why I've been struggling to get my hair back to this point so much is that previously, in order to lighten my hair to this point, we did that over about five years because I've got such dark hair that takes such a long time and so I've been trying to get my hair back to that point thinking oh my god why am I not there but it's because it's almost like I was just topping up my hair over the years and now it's been such a struggle to get back to this point but with lots of hair oil lots of good products taking care of myself taking my vitamins all of those kinds of things sorry for all of the hair touching i feel like i'm in a really really good place so i'm very much excited for my christmas look coming together and getting my hair done tomorrow in london i'm going to be zooming across london getting my hair it's not a bad day to have and it's certainly not a strenuous day but it does mean that i'm essentially going to be in london like three or four times this week which is a lot for me i'm a country girl i live and breathe being out in nature and being in London that amount is a lot for me. I find it incredibly overwhelming and um, it affects me a lot. So yes, I'm gonna be um, firing on all cylinders for the rest of the week. Um, and I think that's about us being up to date, to be honest. I'm looking forward to getting my hair done though. Really, really looking forward to it and just taking care of it and having a bit of a refresh because I felt quite dark and I've got lots of events coming up. So I want to have a good old refresh. I don't know whether, to sort of, I don't know if I'm gonna, oh, I just don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know. But what I do have to say is I am living my best life in this outfit. This has probably been the best outfit to happen to me in all of 2023. And it serves me the best on a day like today where I've had about four hours sleep and I've got up and I've got ready. That is a win, but I want to be comfy and cozy. And with the temperature, plummeting at the moment. I reckon we've got a few more days until it starts getting to the sub-zero temperatures, which is what Ali and I usually need for shooting our Christmas intro. And this is the perfect, perfect outfit. This is from Lily Silk. And before we get into the video, I will let you know that I've got a um, discount code for Lily Silk, which is Millen15, which will get you 15% off of everything on the site, basically. So that's just really good for just a, a nice little sprinkling on the top. But there is also Millen20 if you spend over $500 and you will get 20% uh, off on site. So I'll pop all of the details on screen and in the description box for any of the pieces that I feature. I'm going to show you a few items a few different ways and I'm going to try my best to keep it concise. I appreciate that sometimes my sponsorships and the way I talk about my sponsorships is a bit longer. I get it, I get it. Not everyone wants to sit through that. I do it only because I want to do a good job by you. I want you guys to be informed and sort of see what, what it is about the products that I love and why I enjoy them, why I think that they're potentially worth your money, how many ways you can style them. The, the, the most amount of information that I can give you that makes you realize that I'm telling you this because I think it's really good. It can make my videos a bit longer. And so I really, really apologize. I'm not doing that because the brand wants me to do that. I could literally just stand here and show you six different looks. That's what I've got to do and tell you my discount code. But I want you guys to be informed and I want you to know why I think these items are brilliant. 
and how much I wear them and how they make me feel when I wear them and how I can style them differently. And that's, again, not because they've asked me to do that, it's because I care about you guys being in the know first and foremost. That's why. So if you don't like it, um, I'm gonna try and keep it concise, but also tell you as much information as possible. So, you know, that is, is it, is it an oxymoron? I have no idea, but anyway, this outfit has been my most worn and happy outfit. When I come home and I put this on, even if I'm not wearing the shirt, the shirt is more of like a, if I'm needing a cozy day and I put it on in the morning, I put a shirt underneath it, it instantly makes me feel like I'm one of those like older ladies who lives in, her, I, I am an older lady now, but like not that old, but older, who lives in their country house, has stuff to do in the day, but doesn't need to get like fully dressed. This is it. I feel so nicely put together in this. And these uh, trousers have probably been one of my most favorite pieces to ever come from Lily Silk because I wear them so much. And I want to let you know that I have washed these trousers so many times because I think that there's often a misconception with cashmere that you are buying them and you can't wash them. They're really difficult to wash. I wash these in my washing machine on our wool setting. I use a product called Woolite as well. Um, both Ali and I wash all of our cashmere stuff in the tumble dryer on specific settings. These have just come out of the wash. They've been dried on the little rack in our um, laundry room and that is basically it. There is no shrinking whatsoever. There is no change in the quality of the cashmere either. And I have to say, I've sampled a lot of cashmere in my career and this is most definitely up there with the highest, if not on par with some of the luxury brands that I own ca cashmere pieces from because it feels the softest I have ever had. There's no itching, there's no scratching. It is pure comfort. So with that in mind, I'm gonna link these items in the description box down below and also show you some different ways to style this particular setup. I've got, I've got quite a few other pieces, but hopefully I can just thread those in in the video as well naturally because things are just so easy for me to wear however this outfit i think is probably going to be my winter comfort travel outfit for going away so you know when you're traveling abroad somewhere maybe you've got a long haul flight you want to be comfortable and you want to um, dress nicely i'm going to show you how i change this which is essentially my loungewear outfit although i've got some other options for that this is how I would style it if I was going to the airport or if I was going somewhere cold or if I just wanted to be a fancy pant. This, in fact, this is such a Soho farmhouse look I'm gonna show you. First and foremost, classic white plimsolls and please don't spend a fortune on these. All you need is completely unbranded. That is my preference. I don't want any fancy brands. I think these are the types of um, plimsolls that like beauty therapists wear and things like that. That's. I just don't want a single morsel of branding on them. And they are so comfortable. They're like walking on a cloud. So nice. So footwear, check. Nice and classic, comfortable, but still looking good. Next up is this beautiful, and when I tell you this is beautiful, this feels exactly the same as my Laura Piana um, cashmere coat. This is 50% cashmere, 50% wool, and then it also has a element of silk lining as well. So this is ultimate comfort. So this will go over the top or over the shoulders, depending on how you're feeling. You can obviously like belt it if you want that more cinched in look. I keep the collar popped like so. And a little hack that I would say is that you can buy collars that are just purely like collar bibs or you can go for sleeveless shirts. Those kinds of things all work really well to keep it more comfortable. And then if you want to go super cozy, this is my ultimate cool girl cozy outfit. Like I am so, so obsessed with this. If I was traveling, I'd have a really big bag with all of my like laptops and toiletries and bits and pieces like that in the bag. But this also works really well for like a work bag if you need everything in there. This is just my kind of vibe. So that is this outfit styled one way, but um, I'm gonna pop some different jumpers on just to show you different ways in terms of potential loungewear pieces as well. I will also link to the care instructions on 
the Lily Silk website, they have uh, cashmere care instructions and silk. So if you're like worried about anything and you just want to make sure that you're prepared for how things need to be washed and cared for, then that is a really good option um, to just click that. So I'll link it down below so that I don't make this too wordy, but I do show you some good outfit inspo. Obviously you can add pops of colour as well. You can add a scarf. Um, I really like adding a bit of burgundy into the mix with outfits like this, but this to me is the ultimate, the ultimate dream. There is also this option, which is even more of a sort of minimalist, paired back option for styling these cashmere trousers. And I love this just as much as I love the other option. And I think that the versatility of this piece is gonna work really well with like white jeans. It's also gonna work well with black jeans. This is a great base color for under blazers. But in an outfit like this, absolutely chef's kiss for lounging, cozy evenings. It just, this is just a must. These are a must. Apparently I can't stop and I won't stop with styling options because I've just found a hat and scarf in my cupboard. They work perfectly. I popped on some little tan accent plimp soles as well just to pick out the tan in the bag. So good and so easy to wear and so comfortable. Going for something a little bit more elevated now and I would strongly suggest um, this silk skirt. It's like a silk maxi skirt entering into your autumn winter wardrobe because silk is spectacular not just for like your skin in general having silk on your skin helps with aging helps retain moisture but it is also one of those fabrics that keeps you warm in winter cool in summer so this is a piece that will transition into your summer wardrobe beautifully um, i've paired it with a lily silk knitted roll neck and this roll neck is my basic of choice for the foreseeable future. This is a mulberry silk and cashmere roll neck. So for me, this works really well under shirts. So if you want to have your shirt collar open and you want to add another layer underneath, maybe you've got like a red tartan shirt or something like that. This is going to be a really perfect feather light layer to add to your outfit to just lock in warmth when it starts getting really, really cold. I've layered it with a classic structured blazer and the silk skirt. This is more of a sort of, um, I, I'm, I'm being quite extravagant with this outfit, which I love. The hat really adds an element of sort of uniqueness, but obviously these kinds of outfits work really well without hats. I just love hats and that's my sort of vibe at the moment. But again, you can do this whole blazer, skirt, combination really really well this works beautifully for work wear office wear meetings that kind of thing but also i wore this to i wore this to my meetings in london and i felt really lovely going for drinks afterwards in this exact outfit um i've teamed it with a boot and i tell you what there is only one thing i love more than a black and ivory outfit it is a black and ivory outfit with a pop of red oh my goodness it just like literally makes the outfit pop. It feels feminine, it feels professional, but it also feels really, really comfortable. And that, you'll know in my books, is tick, tick, tick. So this is how I would wear it if I was gonna like pop it under a shirt. So this base layer, when I tell you this is like feather light, but it's like a cardigan 10 times its thickness. It keeps heat in, like I actually, I can't put it into words. So usually when I'm putting like a base layer, a knitwear, a gilet, and then a coat, I can actually get away with like walks to the pub with this base layer, a shirt, and like my coat, and it works really well. And I also think folding it in gives it a more streamlined look, and it just, you can do this under shirt dresses, whatever. It just gives it that sort of, it gives it a sort of regal look, I think as well, but also just love. Love, love, love. And I would say that this is my second favorite sweater out of the entire Lily Silk collection. Obviously you saw the sort of melange one that I've worn to within an inch of its life. And I, unfortunately it's only, I think it's only in stock in um, medium at the moment. But if you want that same feel, but slightly more oversized, this is like my basic chic outfit of choice. A pair of white jeans, this oatmeal-y tone, huge, chunky but not restrictive roll neck that's what i really love 
Anything that's too sort of restrictive around here, I find makes me look funny from the side. Whereas having this more, it's not a cow neck, but it's got that bigger opening to it. And these sleeves with the slits are so lovely. And then adding the richness of the um, burgundy tone, I just think makes it feel a little bit more interesting less like a basic throw on outfit. It feels a little bit more considered, but you can also go back to that duster coat that just works really well at adding another layer. You can add a scarf, which I'm gonna do. And all those layers just come together to create such a cozy, chic outfit, which is what I love and it's what I live by. I'll link all of the bits from Lily Silk in the description box down below. There'll be more throughout the video as well that I'm wearing. Um, like pajamas and little silk bits and pieces and that's one thing I would say if you ever see me with like silk hair ties or silk scrunchies they're all from Lily Silk because Lily Silk has a really um, a really quite impressive sustainability approach where they partner with Terra Terra Cycle I believe and um, they're aiming to be completely waste free they also turn all of their cutoffs into other bits and pieces. So if you're thinking about getting any gifts this year, something like scrunchies, make really good stocking fillers, um, eye masks, bits and pieces like that are all used from the cutoffs of the, the main pieces. And you'll know my approach to gifting is very different this year in terms of I want things that people actually use, not just things that I think are nice or whatever. I want things that they maybe don't know that they want or need, but when they've got them, they're like, oh, thank you so much. So glad that person bought me this. And little things like always having scrunchies or whatever, they just make really good gifts. So I'll link to a few of the silk bits and pieces, scarves, etc., in the description box down below. But I think this is going to be my outfit of the day. I think I was going to, I thought I was going to stay in the um, uh, cashmere set, but I feel a little bit more like I'm at least going to work today wearing this. So yeah, we're going to go with this one. It has most definitely been one of those days where all of the odds were stacked against me. Like the night's sleep that I had was just not giving me all of the cylinders to fire on today. And so vlogging just kind of fell out the window, but I tell you what did make it better. Ali um, cooked me a really lovely roast dinner for our supper. Um, I'm thinking it may potentially be a little bit inspired by um, Mr. Joe Swash because he obviously cooked us a roast and I'm thinking that Ali probably wanted to go and put his um, bits and pieces to the test, but yeah. That made me a little bit sort of more uplifted and then I was sent a podcast to listen to which you know what I'm like by now podcasts often speak to me and make me like bring me comfort I learn things I'm one of those people that like I'm definitely still like learning and such a work in progress and it was one of those podcasts that you listen to it's with Oprah Winfrey and um, Glennon Doyle and it's one of those podcasts that there's just there's bits of it that don't apply but then there's some that you just they hit you in the in the chest and you're like oh my gosh I'll link it in the description box down below but one of the things that it refers to is being like having a good girl breakdown and that is something that I am like fully taking into everyday life like the concept of a good girl breakdown because I think that this is something that I have experienced a lot where like your character as a good girl is called into question and that causes you to question everything about yourself which obviously if you truly had a strong sense of self that wouldn't ever be called into into question and so I know that there are many elements of my life where I'm very very strong in who I am and then there are moments where that that can be sh like shaken and it's just an area that I need to work on myself with but it's just so interesting like I need to be able to say to people like I'm having a good girl breakdown right now okay <laughs> just bear with me but I'm getting ready for bed I'm gonna go and do my skincare because down to London tomorrow for a haircut hair color I'm really looking forward to like my new look and it's probably not gonna be that new but for the sake of clickbait titles please let me have this as my new festive look <laughs> um, and just gonna get myself into bed I'm also wearing the most Lydia Millen pajamas. I'm just, I'm over the moon. 
I'm over the moon. This is what I've been waiting for. You know what I've said about Ali and how he gets to go to like all the gentlemen's outfitters and there's none of this stuff for women. They may not have the physical store, but this as like my pajamas for the evening, I feel so lovely. And if you can't tell, this is an entirely like green and ivory pajama set. So this is a printed pajama set. Um, in just look at the shine on that and then this gorgeous like evergreen colored <laughs> robe I feel so fancy like genu this is my Sunday morning like chill having posh bacon butties this is my vibe from now on so I'll link um this set in the description box down below I'll pop it down here so you can see also this little light is just making my life so much easier um yeah i'll pop a link to the pajama set and also the robe and just a reminder of my discount codes uh the first one is millen 15 and the second one is millen 20 millen 15 will get you 15 percent off of everything on the site millen 20 will get you 20 percent off on everything over 500 dollars um i'll make it easy put it in the description box whatever but if you're looking for some lovely pajamas I have got you covered because pajamas are one of those things I have a complete weakness for. Pajamas, tea towels, face mists, sausage dogs, men who are electricians and now influencers. <laughs> um, but yes, I'll link this down below and um, looking forward to tomorrow. It's going to be so different, like it's going to be so interesting to experience the whole like side of Michael Van Clark not as a PR like appointment. I'm really looking forward to seeing the correlations because I've just booked it. Like that's, I've just, ju I just phoned up and booked. It's important to me on this one as well because I really, the benefits that I had to my hair from that appointment, I was really, really clear about. And um, I'm looking forward to just refreshing, maybe a few more little layery bits. And the, the best part about it is it just grows out. Like it just grows out in the most uniformed way so that it always looks good. And then obviously popping over to see my gorgeous Immy to get a colour refresh. So wonderful day in London. And um, it is 8.30 and I am going to bed because nobody needs a grump like I was today, okay? I just would like to say sorry to my husband, sorry to my best friend, because sometimes it is the cusp of that time of the month and then I don't sleep and I'm a grump. Well, Ali's just put a very, very horrible thought in my head. We just basically were- oh. You did! Why did we, so we, we were coming on to the, oh, Ali just renamed Lumi Lillibut. Lummy bit. Lummy bit. After, <laughs> After the, the queen. The queen. <laughs> and then how did we get onto the fact? Oh, you were like, and she's eight years old. No, I said, I'm going to start calling you that when you're eight. Oh, so yeah. I thought she was seven, and you said she's nine. Yeah, so Lumi is now. And, and I was like, I think she's nine. And so we worked out that we got Lumi in 2014, and she is actually nine years old. July. And, yeah, July 2015. July. I don't remember that. Because you love her. That was her birthday. And so then we were working out how many years roughly we've got left with her, and I don't think I've ever felt a wave of sadness. Well, it could be that. As, well, it could be last night tonight, couldn't it? I mean. <gasps> Ali, don't say that! Well, <laughs> Lummy bird. Lummy bird. Oh, look at you little mushkins. And, um,. Then Ali said to me, well, see, that's why you should just make every moment count with Lumi. And I was like, she literally sleeps better than I do at this rate. I get up in the night, I feed her, I let her out, I I just get up and stroke her. Like, this cat doesn't know she was born. Lummy. Yeah, and then she has the cheek to ignore us. My little lummy butt. Yes. Oh. And then in the background, you can hear the sweet sound of our sausage dogs humping. <laughs> Honestly, get a room, you two. This is disgusting. Yes, Bucky, I know you really don't like it. Oh. Now, because I am tired and lazy, 
The only thing I'm doing this evening, and this is probably terrible in terms of the skincare world, is I am just going to cleanse and use my treatment, whichever treatment I fancy. And I have to try desperately not to ruin my new pyjamas. So this is literally what I'm using this evening. Cordially, Arden. That's it. Oh, and a little bit of neon on my body. Okay, maybe a little bit of the micellar water as well. Please ignore the sound of the sausage dogs behind me. So I've just gone in with two to three pumps of the Eliz Elizabeth Arden Retinol and HPR um, Retinol. This is still my number one. And actually, it's really funny. This lasts so long. I think I'm on my third one of my day moisturizer. And this is generally just my night moisturizer because you, you can use it every day and you don't get any irritation or anything like that. Um, it just gives you like bouncy, dewy skin. What I would say is if you like well, if you've ever wanted to, to buy the super expensive Clé de Peau La Creme, you don't need to. This gives the skin the same effect, feels the same, it's got the same really luxurious texture, different colour, um, but I would say that my skin feels exactly the same using this as using that £1,000 cream, so don't tell anyone I told you that though. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed. I gathered that. <laughs> Babe, they do bark. Let them in. He doesn't bark. He, he does that. And I can't hear you. I need you to bark properly. You need to be barky by name and barky by nature. Oh, I'm sorry, but you need to learn. You? <laughs> you stand there scratching the door. Oh. Daddy thinks he can teach you to bark like that. Oh, I'm used to this one. <laughs> if you didn't understand that, Ali was trying to teach Barkley to bark when he wants to come back into the house because what Barkley does is he jumps up on his back legs and paws the window and we can't hear him. And so Ali was trying to encourage a bark out of Monsieur Barkley, but... Um, by barking at him, <laughs> badly, badly at him. It didn't work, did you, Bark? It didn't work. Yes. It was sensitive, Snoot. Good morning, everyone. It is a very grey morning, but it's quite an exciting day, I'd say, at the house. It feels like old times. It feels like Lydia back when she first moved in. <laughs> um, there are a lot of tradespeople here today. I think Ali has had. Um, the guys from NJF, is it NFJ or NJF? Um, measuring up for his install of his shed so that he can get it all organized and like a proper workshop, which I'm really excited for him because I think that'll be so good for him to have that space. And it'll also be good for me because I'll get him to do things for me, which is so good. Also, I'm using the heirloom um copper dew all over nourishing oil this is just the dream like it's so easy because it's almost got like a serumy texture it's probably not good if your hair is like quite fine and fly away but for me having something that actually like is quite rich for the ends of my hair it just completely transforms how my hair looks and just gives it that like healthy sort of smoothness which I love but obviously today is hair day and I'm nervous but excited I'm always nervous on hair days but it always is just oh 
such a refresh. Um, I'm also trying to decide what outfit I'm gonna to wear today. Oh, and the other tradespeople that we have coming today, we have some electricians to do, uh, just to fix our front gate lights. Um, and then we also have um, some work happening in the basement to fix the water that was going in to my office. Um, so that's a step forward. Um, I know some people mentioned how many steps there were ahead of us and we are like, yes, fully, fully appreciative of the scale of the job, just as a bit of an understanding, the floor down there is a floor span of about 2,000 square foot. And that's all going to be refloored. And that is a huge cost, especially when you have the kind of taste that I have and you're looking at the carpietras and those kind of things. It's expensive, goodness me. So that was the electricians arriving and um, they're going to be starting work. Then we obviously have the work going on in the basement, but yes. Um, it's one of those sort of days where it's fully hectic, but I'm not gonna be in the house, so I don't care. <laughs> I get to be out all day. I do also have a plan to try and stop in at Susanna London if I get time in between my hair appointments, just to get measured for um, a dress. I'm hoping to go in and be measured for that with Susanna, which just excites me. And um, I need to sort of plan my outfit for the day the dog's been going mad because there's so many people here i'm listening to a book um which i'm just it's i'm finding it so fascinating so lovely like genuinely such a lovely thing for someone like me to read it is called the highly sensitive person and it's made me realize that porter is also a highly sensitive person or dachshund um is by elaine n aaron phd <sighs> right i am going to do my best to choose an outfit very quickly uh for the day that I'm gonna be comfortable in, but warm, and also feel lovely. Okay, this is the outfit that I'm kind of thinking of for today. I'm showing you a few new pieces in this um, particular outfit. Um, obviously this gorgeous red jumper from Lily Silk. I wore it in my last video, and I, obviously that was a really festive shoot, and obviously it's not December yet, and I know that I don't let that stop me in my house, but outside, it feels like I'm in an unsafe space where I might be coming into contact with many people that don't understand why I'm dressed so festively. But I do feel really, really lovely and festive today. So I don't know whether I'm gonna wear this with a blazer. Again, another like new thing. So my new shoes, I picked up the black version of the Chanel slingbacks because I've obviously had the other ones for eight years. They've lasted so well and I thought actually having a plain black pair would be a good basic and then this is a Ralph Lauren blazer that I had tailored uh, recently when I went to London with Lauren. Um, I fell in love with it. I don't know if I need to get the trousers as well. I probably wear this properly on my shoulders and then like black bag, but I need to tuck the top in. So let me do the whole outfit um, and you can see, but yeah, I feel like maybe I'm gonna feel a bit festive in this, but I don't know. And I'm wearing leather trousers. I haven't worn leather trousers for a while. Perhaps I could go for like warm trousers, but I love the contrast in the material. So, tuck the shirt in, do the button up. You see we've got a little bow in the back there, a little party in the back. And then we have to do like a strategic front tuck so that it's like that. I think I'll probably need a belt of sorts, and I'm definitely going to need to shave my toes and my feet and potentially pop a little bit of tan on them. The only thing that I'm thinking is potentially this, is the, I feel like I might be a bit too festive in this today. What do we think? I might change to like a, a different, a different jumper, who knows? This would be such a cute little shopping outfit though, but I definitely need, definitely need like a um, belt with it and stuff. What do we think? I love it. I will link this down below as well. This is also available with my discount code. Um, so yeah, this is just another option if you want something a little bit festive. Gorgeous cable knit, super soft. Obviously I need to tuck it in a little bit, but um, yeah, I love it. Very cute. I'm definitely dicing the death here, but I am on the way to Susanna London for an appointment. Just had my hair cut. It's looking so, so much healthier, um, but now, I've got a quick fitting at Susanna London and then heading over to Sloane Street to get my colour done and 
I think I'm lost. I genuinely, I think I'm lost. I am no good with London at all. <laughs> so the material that stole my heart and it's actually even better in person because I didn't realize that it was velvet and sequins because I wanted my dress to be velvet and sequins. So it's a double win and I've just been fitted into the top of the dress here, which you can see. So we've tucked a little bit of the fabric on the bust in here. We've done the straps and it fits like a glove. I actually can't wait for you to see this. I'm very, very excited. Another quick fitting for this gorgeous dress. Oh my goodness, can't wait to show you this one. Goodness me, what a day. I didn't even speak to you before I got to my haircut appointment, but I don't think it has managed to withstand the rain, sadly, but I had such a good haircut, Michael Van Clark, and they actually, I'm gonna see if I can put in the footage here, because I didn't film much for um, my vlog, but I did on stories and there's this point where he's cut this side of my hair and then not cut this side of my hair and you can see the difference in the condition. Um, he said that I should probably come back every two months but because I was obviously paying, I'm trying to sort of treat this as like my everyday hair care. No, not everyday, but like my monthly hair care budget. So because it's more a, a more expensive treatment, I'm trying to think of it as like spreading it out through the months and I don't know if I'll be able to do it every two months. I think I'm gonna try and push it to two to uh, three to four months, because I left it six months this time, and I think that was a little bit long. Um, but what I'm trying to do is spread that that expense over the months so that it isn't too extortionate. And I'm, I'm seeing it as one of those high maintenance things that make me a little bit more low maintenance. That's the way that I'm trying to see it anyway. And then I've obviously just been to the incredible Susanna London Atelier and, um, I was going there initially to have a fitting for my New Year's Eve dress, but I don't even think I'm gonna be able to wait to wear this for New Year's Eve. Basically, I follow this stylist and he styled this dress and I'll see if I can insert the, the picture of the woman because she looked jaw-dropping, like unbelievable. And instantly I messaged Susanna, and I was like, I need to wear this dress, I need to. So I've come in and I've had the bust fitted perfectly to me. And then as I was leaving, I'd never even checked the couture section of Susanna London and they have a gown of the fabric of my suit that I love so much and so I tried that on and I think that's what I'm probably going to wear this weekend um, to a ball that I'm going to which I'm really looking forward to so very exciting and um, I'm really looking forward to that as well so now we're heading to Sloane Street I'm going to do my best not to shop after I've had my hair done but I can't promise anything and what I'm going to say to Immy is I think what I want to try and do is um, l not necessarily put too much colour through the ends of my hair and maybe just attempt to blend uh, what has grown out into the roots but we shall see but yeah it's raining so my hair's not withstanding it well and it's one of those days where I'm kind of having my hair done so I couldn't really have it up because they need to see the base um, so I'm fighting against my usual rules that I use to help me enjoy being in the rain. I'm also wearing slingbacks. What an error. I should just put boots on. <laughs> okay, we're at the blow dry phase and we're actually going, what do you, what do you call it? Oh, the 90s bounce. We're going for a 90s bounce, which means I'm actually not having my hair straightened. We're doing rollers. I feel like this is, a very new experience but I feel like I surprise Immy with every time I come to the salon because it's like you never allow me to do this and I'm like let's do it <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> so 
from a 90 seater modern bounce now. <laughs> that is insane. I literally, like, that is wild. <laughs> Does it feel too big? No, I love it. My, my hair would naturally pull it down anyway, so you have to always go bigger. Yeah. Like yeah, that's what that. I mean, the weight's going to get to it. But you've got that nice bit of like, that bouncy bit. Yeah. It looks good. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so cool. I told you, it's not yeah. just going to hold for days. <laughs> that is wild. No, I love it. That is amazing. Like, if you say Bobby, it's me. Yeah, yeah, I'll make it happen. <laughs> so cool. I am home after my not very drastic makeover, but I can finally say <laughs> that I finally have my hair back to normal. I'm there, like I've got my hair back, I've got color, I've got cut, and I've got condition. Like look at the shine on my hair, like there's not a split end in sight. So what we did with Immy was rather, so what we've been doing, and I know I mentioned this, that basically I've been trying to achieve with my color what took years to achieve to try and get it back to that point. And obviously we've sort of been damage limitating, but doing a little bit of damage here and there and really pushing it to the brink. And then this time, we were like, the colors kind of held, so let's just soften the root and drag it through. I can be a bit darker at my root in um, winter time and then we can always go a bit brighter in spring, summer, but often when I have my hair colored afterwards, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get home and put oil on it. Oh, I didn't need to do anything. Sorry for all the hair touching, but it just feels like a bit of a moment. Like, I feel like, this is the enormity like that happens like years of trying to just get back to normal and I'm finally here and it just feels really good. Um, so yeah, very, very happy. I think both Immy and I were sort of like, wow, your hair feels so soft. The cut has just sort of really given it that condition. I feel a million bucks. I feel like I've just been given the Jennifer Aniston. I do. I feel like I've been given the Jennifer Jennifer Aniston, and I'm totally checking myself up in, out in the viewfinder because I'm just like, this is my hair, this is my hair, this is my hair, la da da da. <laughs> Sorry, um, if I didn't go on about it enough, but yeah, just, and also, Imi used this product at the root, it's the Olaplex like root lift, I'm going to buy it straight away because my hair feels lovely and soft and yet has so much hold and he did all of this without straightening my hair, which just blows my mind. Anyway, I'm gonna to stop touching my hair because it's gonna absolutely royally irritate you how much I have been touching my hair, but it's new hair day, so just uh, let me have that for free. Anyway, it's nine o'clock, I've just got home, and I am out again tomorrow, so I need to head downstairs and edit this video so that it can go up and kiss my sausages because I found a very very cute sausage that had been mistreated on Instagram today and it just made me so sad that I just need to cuddle and kiss them. That's all I need to do, cuddle and kiss.